In the energy quadrant, crude oil down for its seventh straight week now. It's official. A little bit of an earlier close today in the equities, but crude oil gets to last out its full day, getting down 7% on the lows and getting down into that 50-50 range, 50-53 on the WTI contract to be exact. This seventh straight down week is now the longest weekly set of declines consecutively since 2000. And 15 Saudi production, the big story. The Saudi oil minister indicated that production reached record highs this past month above the prior record of 10.7 million barrels a day. And no one is really saying whether the December 6th uh, meeting of OPEC is a, a solid indication of any production cuts. It's not likely, at least, that there's a production cut that's substantial and that is stuck to with any sort of a ramification mechanism if anyone cheats on the production cut that they may announce simply because of the tensions we've got in Saudi Arabia with the death of Khashoggi, the journalist, which has not been really pinned by the global committee on Saudi Arabia, but is somewhat understood. And it's PMI day, so PMIs came in lower. EU PMI came in at a two and a half year low. US PMIs came in lower, services and the manufacturing, but not much lower, a tenth lower than expected, but about three to five tenths, depending on which one you're looking at overall, adding to the idea that there is a global slowdown in demand last quarter complete in crude oil. We saw crude oil going from 10,000 barrels a day undersupplied to 30,000 barrels a day oversupplied, and we're awaiting the new data from the third quarter, which looks like it's going to be along those same same lines. So again, crude oil getting into the 50 handle today, 50.53 down 7%. Volume was actually decent if you compare it to a regular day. Had this not been a holiday week, volume would be just through the roof, so it's low versus what the move tells you it should be. But overall, volume was not bad on, again, this holiday shortened day in the other markets.